when the first list of endangered species was created 50 years ago, it started with 78 animals. The brown bear and bald eagle were among the American icons to make the first list. Today, there are 1,400 animals and 900 plants in expansion that reflects more requests for listings over time, but also the fact that threats to habitats and ecosystems have become widespread and complex. In the early days of the Endangered Species Act, we could more easily identify the threat and go directly to the source. When DDT was thinning eggshells, killing the embryos and endangering several bird species, we worked to curb harmful pesticide applications. After a federal ban on DDT, the problem was solved. Today, threats are more likely to come from the general changes in the environment that occur as growing populations push housing and foreign commercial developments, energy development and fragmentation of agriculture on a large scale and invade habitats and droughts related to climate change and forest fires degrade entire ecosystems. This means that the Endangered Species Act and properly funded species recovery plans are needed more than ever but also that new methods of conservation need to be invested to help protect endangered species. Extinction before they become the first place. Three quarters of all land in the United States is a private enterprise and as such is an untapped reservoir of conservation potential. 